Hello everyone, this is Defense Politics Asia and uh, this is the Frontline Changes Report. And uh, there is a few Frontline Change uh, which is all rather important. I will start off with the Vaseline. So uh, over in the north, in the Sivas Front, uh, so this is Sivas City and uh, this is the Sivas Front. At the Vaseline region, uh, just south south of Vimka, there is Russian forces being geolocated to be attacking Ukrainian uh positions uh through through uh, infantry and whatnot and uh this this actually is a uh, located within ukrainian territory which means that the russians have actually made an attack against the russian uh against the ukrainian position so this actually increased the uh, the front line uh we will continue to monitor uh the situation over this area here this is uh, on the northeastern part of Vesele, which Russians previously have captured. So this progress down this railway line uh, towards Vimka continues, but it's going to be very, very slow. Uh, we will continue to monitor to see how this progress. And on uh, the next front line change is over at Nevelsky. So this is the Adyevka front. Uh, the battle of Adyevka is ongoing. The uh, Ukrainian forces have uh, announced a redrawal, but no redrawal don't happen suddenly, so you you got to take some time. So the battle continues with the Russians continue to have a lot of ground to capture. But over in the south western part of Adyevka front, at Nevelsky, there is some major changes in terms of the front line. Russian forces have captured these three lines uh, along this uh, just off Nevelsky. So the Russian forces have attacked Nevelsky and captured a lot of grounds in this area here. And the next battle is going to be at Nevelsky itself. The because there's no more uh, three lines or defenses separating between the Rus Russian front line and the Ukrainian uh, settlement. So we will continue to monitor to uh, monitor to see how this develops over at the Nevelsky region. And now uh, we move into the northern part of Adyevka. So the battle of Adyevka is still ongoing. It's not over yet despite the announcement of withdrawal. Some of the Russian mapping very excitedly just colored the entire city red. I don't think that is correct. Uh, just like the situation in the Bakhmut, uh, Battle of Bakhmut in several Donets, in Lysyskians, in uh, Popasna, in Mariupol, uh, we are following the exact same formula. We will monitor to see the progress of where the Russians have captured. Because even if the battle is effectively over, it's not over yet. The Russian forces have attacked into the south, uh, into the city itself. They continue to progress further and there is uh, video footage of showing them that they have raised the flag uh, in the park in the park region uh, there is a city park over there they raise it on the monument proving the presence of the Russian forces at this location right here the Russian forces also continue to progress down the western road as well as blow uh, continue to blow up away from the salient that they have breakthrough into the western outskirt of uh, Adyevka city. They are moving uh, towards Leshtoshkine, which is going to be a lightly stronghold of the Ukrainian forces. And uh, the Russian forces is pushing very quickly over there. We will continue, continue to monitor to see how it goes. And uh, this, Russia, this, this one, the southern push is towards this uh, very important road. Uh, the Ukrainians need to retreat out of Adyevka. This is the only road left. That the ukrainians can use and it's a dirt road it's not even a proper road so it's a dirt road it's a dirt path so the russian forces is now pushing south and uh, they are pretty much in rifle range already they're around 400 meters away is pretty much at the maximum extent of what a rifle a assault rifle can do uh, definitely a, a machine gun can, can uh, definitely reach that range because mach machine gun is targeting around a kilometer sometimes uh, so that's the situation over the front line change over in the northern part of adfka on the eastern part of adfka there is also front line change uh the there is your location confirming russian forces have are uh, inside of the, the donetsk filtration uh, station this forced the ukrainian mappers uh, to concede this entire area along the road the, the highway to the russians and i believe that in the next few days due to the call for redrawal of the ukrainian forces we're going to see much more uh, faster frontline changes over in this eastern part because it's so deep uh into the salient into the bulge uh the ukrainian forces in this area must be running for their life uh in this area here 
we'll continue to monitor to see the front line change as we continue to monitor the russian capture of adfka front uh, of the adfka city over in the southern part of adfka the russian forces also continue to push north uh, the progress here is a little bit slower uh, because uh, the russian forces are still clearing the the area that the ukrainians have abandoned so previously uh, in our previous frontline changes report uh, the ukrainians have given up this entire area here this is a huge area that the the ukrainians have conceded after uh, the russians uh, pincer movement has been successful closing the the gap and uh so in this area here the russian forces is still busy uh clearing up uh, all these areas and the settlements including this the vanyat number two area uh which is this small little settlement uh close to the air defense base uh, the air defense base is here so the russian forces is still busy doing this clearance operation so the only the very very frontline troops is pushing a little bit north uh to, to slowly move forward so the the operation around this area is still mo mostly a sweeping operation so which is why I believe the southern part, the progress is a bit slower. And this is also confirmed because of uh, Joe location of uh, Russian forces basically raising their flag over one of the strongholds, which is basically the flyover uh, on the on this road towards Adyavka city in the south. So this, this uh, footage that, that just came out over the past 24 hours simply shows that the Russian forces uh, is moving and uh capturing all this position or you no know, clearing all this position uh whilst where else the you in based on ukrainian mapping they basically have already conceded the entire area to the russians and uh so i believe this is all the frontline changes over the past 24 hours the concentration largely is over in the adfk front with nevelsky uh and the adfk city taking the the front seat uh, which is why i take the back seat guy to be put uh, to be shown in the in front uh, which is the the progress over at the northeastern part of the Selim. anyway thank you for watching this the frontline changes report do press the like button subscribe check out the battle of adfk uh, the report and also look out for the situation report the sit wrap that will be coming up later i'll see you guys in the next update